OK, here's a look at Logic's key commands. You can access them either by going to Preferences, Key Commands, or by using the key command, which is Alt-K. And you can see it in the list. It shows you that's Alt-K. There we go, Alt-K. Up comes a list of Logic's key commands. It's really useful to learn how to use these because it speeds everything up. You just get quicker. You can actually learn the ones that are already there just by looking at what they are. Record, for example, is the R key. Capture as recording and play. Stop is zero. Play or stop is the space bar. Rewind is left square bracket. Forward is right square bracket. And so on and so forth. And you can just look forward, uh, look through and see what's what. You can also tell it to learn a key command. For example, this one, play or stop and go to last locate position. If I hit learn by key label and then hit a key, if I hit a key that's already in use, it will say to me, key or combination already in use. I don't want to replace it. I'll go cancel. I know that this key is not in use. I'm going to hit the colon key and there it is. Now, play or stop and go to last locate position. I've said I want that to be, sorry, the semicolon key. That's now permanently stored in my key commands. And I can go through and add or change whatever key commands I like. Every window can be set to have its own key commands and some of them will be overridden by global commands. But you can set it up exactly the way you like it and you'll find that you get much, much quicker at working if you learn the key commands. You can also export the key commands, which means you can take them with you on a flash drive and if you go and work in somebody else's studio and they've got logic, I can save my key commands. I'm going to put them on my desktop as J key commands and then I could save them to a flash drive or anything else I fancied and would be able to take them to another studio. Uh, let's just pop them on the desktop there. There you go. Save. Job done. Then I could import them by going import key commands and somewhere on my desktop will be J key commands, logic, ks, bingo, done, open, and it imports all my commands. Do take some, some time to explore these and learn your own version of them and lay them out the way you want to. You'll find you'll work much, much quicker than always working just with a mouse and a keyboard, uh, with the mouse.